experts tell you how to think your way to a better life. Larry King, tomorrow, 9 Eastern. Earlier, we looked at what Democrats plan to do about tracking down Osama bin Laden and his al-Qaeda henchmen, but what if it really isn't as important to get bin Laden anymore? That's the bottom line of a new study out of West Point. That's not all it says, of course, not by a long shot. CNN's Tom Foreman now on terrorism with fewer commanders, but thanks to the Internet, potentially a whole lot more angry soldiers. Take a look. For five years, Osama bin Laden has been on the run from international forces. Yet now a group of U.S. researchers says his ideological influence also appears to be running out. A new study from the Combating Terrorism Center at West Point suggests bin Laden and his top deputy are growing less and less important to radical Muslims, calling for worldwide jihad or holy war against non-Muslims. It says bluntly they have little or no influence on jihadi thinkers. The study says the new philosophers for the jihadist movement are Islamic clerics in Jordan, Egypt, England and Saudi Arabia who use the Internet to spread their message of violent struggle against non-believers. They themselves might not be picking up a gun or conducting terrorist attacks, but they do lay out the justification for why you might use violence to achieve these particular And goals. that really matters to some of these young terrorists. Sure, to some of the young terrorists and to some of the older terrorists as well. Um, you're always con it seems like, at least, there is a sort of internal debate of why are we doing what we're doing and who are we. It may be a natural progression, as bin Laden's old al-Qaeda network, once based in Afghanistan, has been hammered by international military forces. It has been replaced by smaller, like-minded cells around the globe. Analysts say they operate independently and may be harder to track but still share a common vision for an Islamic world ruled by strictly Islamic governments. And they look to clerics to validate their plans. The report suggests that could be a weak point. If more influential clerics speak out against violent jihad, as some have, they could undermine the terrorist movement. Capturing bin Laden would still be symbolically important, but according to this report, for the next generation of Islamic militants, it probably would have little or no impact on the movement's future. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington. One of the report's authors, William uh, McCants, is with us tonight, along with Gary Bernstein, former CIA officer and recent author of the gripping bestseller, Jawbreaker, The Attack on Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. If you haven't read it, you should. It is a great read. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Thank Let's you. talk about your study. Um, Bin Laden not as important as a lot of people think. Why? Well, Al-Qaeda is part of a larger religious movement that's been building over several decades since the 1920s. And that's Salafism? or It is Salafism. It's Sunni Puritanism. It's an, it's an effort to get back to the original sources of Islam and reinterpret it in a very conservative way. So Al-Qaeda is just one group in, in among other groups that are out in a, there? In a wider religious movement, yes. And, and those other groups are important, why, ideologically? They are important. There are significant differences between them as well. And bin Laden has captured the world's attention for a period of time. But there are a number of thinkers uh, who've had much greater impact on the movement intellectually. And their impact and influence will rise with the, with the growing importance of the Internet in disseminating the ideology. And Gary, you kind of disagree in some ways. You say, look, uh, of course bin Laden is important, that, that all these people who have ended up actually attacking Americans, killing people around the world, have been trained by Al-Qaeda. In camps. They haven't been trained by the Internet. The Internet, you know, puts the voice out there. It sends the message. And sometimes it can lead people to go to training. But clandestine operations have to be taught, whether they're taught to intelligence officers or to terrorists. They need, you know, they'll, they'll need to go to camps. And he's provided the camps. He's provided the format to train and to lead. Leadership is critical. And you don't get that leadership over the Internet. But, but you say the power of the internet is important to focus on. Why? 
Absolutely. Well, I mean, op looking at the operational side is important, but that's putting you much more on a reactive footing. If you're focused on the ideologues and what the, the religious foundations they are laying for this movement, the strategic direction they are giving, you'll be able to anticipate where the movement is going to go and then come up with ways to, uh, to block it. Uh, I, another book that we were discussing before, uh, before we came on is uh, The Looming Tower, uh, which I think is just a, a remarkable book and, and something I urge a lot of readers to, 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 to pick up in a bookstore. Um, one of the things that it sort of paints a picture of, and I think your study kind of gets at this as well, is that it does seem in the last couple of years we have painted with a very broad brush uh, the jihadist movement. And there are real differences among them that, that are opportunities for exploitation. Do you, do you think that's true? Look, there is some exploitation that can be achieved when you understand those differences. The best thing we can do is have good policy in the Middle East, have clear policy. And we've had problems with executing this. And if you just look at Iran, we've not had a policy to remove the government, and, and, and we won't put diplomats on the ground. We should do one thing or the other. And, and we haven't had a policy. So, you know, we need solid diplomacy in the Middle East. This will make a big difference. You, you do hear that a lot when you travel in the Middle East. People say, look, it's, I don't hate the American people, I hate your policies. Is policy enough, or is, is that not what's in it's play, you think? It's important. It will help in terms of lowering recruitment. But, I mean, if you look back in the 90s when the Oslo Accords were in effect and there was a great deal of movement on the Palestinian issue, which is the festering wound in the Middle East, that's when bin Laden and al-Qaeda was really getting started up and turning its focus on the United States. So even if you have policy improvements, it's not going to take the wind out of the sails. So of, what do you want, what's the bottom line, what do you want people at home to know that, that you've learned from this study? Well, that al-Qaeda is part of a larger religious movement. This movement has been growing in strength over several decades, and it's important to understand the different constituencies that jihadis are seeking to reach, not only their core base, but also the wider Muslims, and to also focus on the leaders who are effective in, 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 uh, in, in turning off their influence. We need to look around Iraq, and, and, and I agree that this movement is huge, it's a wider threat, and that whether we win or lose in Iraq, it won't matter in the sense that they'll be going to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the, you know, the countries around Iraq. It's going to spread. We need to be thinking about what is the next stage? How do we defend our other allies in the region? Mm. We need to start doing that today, not later. Where, where can more people read about your study? Do you know? It's up on the Combating Terrorism Center's website. Would you know what the website is? Yeah, www.ctc.usma.edu, usma.edu. All right, cool. We'll try to put that on, on our website as well, a link to it. Uh, William McCants, appreciate it. Thank you very thank much. You. It's a fascinating study. Gary Bernstein, always good to talk to you. The Arab News Network, Al Jazeera, was the first to broadcast messages from Osama bin Laden and other Al Qaeda leaders. Now, it has a new sister network, Al Jazeera English. Coming up, did it launch today? Well, it launched today. Did it live up to all the hype leading up to it? We'll take a look. And will the new network be able to step out of?